Hi my lovelies, hope you're well. I'm Chloe Uchida and this is my 15 minute stretch tutorial. In this stretch routine, I'll be incorporating stretches from your neck, your shoulders, upper back, lower back, hips, groin, quads, glutes, and your hamstrings. As a ponytail instructor, stretching is obviously a big part of my life and my career, so I wanted to give you a quick yet effective tutorial that would help you with your particular goal you have, whether it be a office worker sitting at your desk all day and your hips may be locked up, you might have really tight shoulders from hunching, or you may even be a fitness junkie that loves lifting and you may need a bigger range of motion so that you can do your squats, your lunges, your deadlifts lifts properly or whether you be a pole dancer like me that needs a quick yet effective stretch that would help you with your pole journey and to increase your flexibility. This video is mirrored so that you can follow along with me. All you need is a bit of space, one foam roller, one tennis ball or a spiky ball or if you don't have either of those, a massage gun would do even better. If you are advanced, I do recommend you to have two yoga blocks and that is pretty much it. Let's get going. Before I start stretching, this is where the foam roller and the tennis ball comes in. So I always make sure that I foam roll and I also use a tennis ball depending on the parts of my body to loosen my muscles so that I can actually increase my flexibility. So not only does foam rolling and using a spiky ball or a ball help you recover your muscles for the day after, it actually helps you increase your flexibility because when your muscles are very tense, then it's hard for you to have that range of motion and flexibility. So if you do want to increase your flexibility, I highly, highly recommend you to use a foam roller or a, obviously a massage gun to kind of like relax your muscles before you start stretching. Radio, so let's get started with our stretches. So we're gonna start with our neck first. Let's do two head rolls to one side first. And then into the other direction. Big head rolls. And coming back to the neutral. From here, you're gonna pull your left side of your head with your right hand so that you can tilt your head to the right. You're gonna pull the head down over to your right shoulder. And then from there, think about pulling the left shoulder down into the floor. Make sure you're breathing. And from there, you're gonna tilt your head to your right corner. Perfect. And then we're gonna to go to the other side. Same thing, you're gonna pull the right side of your head over to your left shoulder. And you're gonna pull that right hand down into the floor at the same time. And then over to the corner again. Good, now we're gonna grab the back of your head, interlock your fingers behind your back. And then from there, you're gonna pull your head down into the floor. Good, as you pull, you're gonna start rotating your head to the left. And then to the right, make sure you keep pulling your head down. To the right. Perfect. Ready, so let's move on to our arms now. So, left arm across the chest. You're going to interlock that left arm with your right arm. Pull it towards you. And then from there, you're going to pull that up. Inhale. And pull it out. Exhale. Make sure you keep pulling that arm across the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Perfect. Left arm up and over behind your head. You're going to grab that left elbow with your right hand. Pull it over and think about pulling it over onto your right ear. And then now you're going to push that left arm with your, the back of your head. Make sure you inhale and exhale. And pull. Inhale and exhale. And release. Beautiful. Let's go around your other arm. Right arm across your chest, interlock it with your left arm. You're gonna breathe in, pull it up, and exhale. You're gonna inhale, pull it up, and exhale. Pull it down. Perfect. Right arm over and behind your back. 
You're gonna grab that right elbow with your left hand. You're gonna think about pulling it over onto your left ear. And then push with the back of the head. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and pull. And exhale and release. Perfect. You're gonna rotate that arm backwards. And forward. Beautiful. Now, now let's move on to our shoulders, our tricep, lats, upper back and lower back. So these two stretches will give you that extra stretch on those five parts at the same time. This is a really effective one. So you're going to come onto your knees and from there you're going to get your hands in front of you. So come into onto your fours. From here, hands straight, shoulder width, pulling your knee backwards. And from there, you're gonna think about getting your armpit onto the floor and pushing your bump into the ceiling. Make sure you're breathing and breathe out. Your aim here is to get your chest onto the floor. So for those that are advanced, you can grab your blocks, your two blocks, placing your forearm onto the block and push your chest into the floor. And this will give you that extra stretch. Make sure you're breathing in and breathe out and push. And coming out. Perfect. Now, next one, you're going to interlock your fingers and then from there, gluing your elbows together. So you're coming into this praying hand position. So from here, you're going to place um, your elbow onto the block if you're advanced. If not, you're gonna place your elbows onto the floor. Make sure that your elbows are still squeezed together. From there, you're gonna draw those knees backwards and pushing your chest into the floor. Make sure you breathe in and breathe out. Pushing your chest into the floor as you exhale. Again, if you're advanced, grabbing those blocks, placing it Placing your elbow onto the blocks and then you're going to push your chest into the floor. And this targets all five parts, so your shoulders, your lats, your triceps, your upper back and your lower back at the same time. And coming out. Beautiful. Now, let's move on to opening up our shoulders. So. And also, this is going to help you with your um, side bends slightly, your back, and also your uh, lats as well. So, you're going to come onto your belly, you're going to line your tummy, and from here, you're going to get your right hand in a 90 degree angle. So make sure that from your shoulder to your elbow is a straight line, and from your elbow to your fingertips is a straight line as well, so 90 degrees. This arm does not move whatsoever. This is glued to the floor. From here, you're gonna start using your left hand, push into the floor, and then kicking your left leg up and over behind your back. So you're really pushing into that left arm, and then you're gonna keep turning your body and making sure that you're pushing into that right arm. Now you should feel a stretch in your shoulders and also slightly in your back and your side. So it's quite twisty. So if you feel like you're not feeling this stretch, it may be because your arm is not in the right placement. So make sure that this is in a 90 degree angle and this does not move whatsoever. And push into the floor with your left hand. Keep twisting and coming out. Good, now we're gonna do our other arm. So you're gonna glue your left arm in a 90 degree angle, pushing into your right hand. And from there, your right leg kicks up and over behind you. Pushing into that left arm. Push into the right hand, push into the left arm at the same time. Kicking that right leg up and over. Kick it back. Feel that twist in your back. And coming out. Perfect. Now let's move on to our upper back. So you're gonna come on to still on your tummy. Hands in front of you. From there, you're gonna draw these hands so that you're on your forearm. 
make sure that your elbows are right under your chest. From here, you're gonna think about pushing into those hands and pulling it towards you. So make sure that you keep your shoulders down, push into those hands, pull it towards you, and now you should be feeling a stretch in your upper back right now. Make sure you're looking up, breathe in, and breathe out. In and breathe out, pull it towards you. Perfect. Now let's move on to our upper back. So we're going to come into a cobra, both hands next to your chest, squeezing your armpit in, and you're going to push into those hands, making sure that you don't collapse in your shoulder. Keep it pulling down. And from here, you're going to point your toes, pushing into those toes, and pushing into those hands at the same time. Now you should be feeling a stretch in your lower back. Make sure you're looking up into the ceiling. Keep pushing into those hands and pushing into those toes at the same time. Breathing in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Push. Perfect. From here, you're going to start twisting your body to the right. Feel that stretch in your side. And from there, you're going to stretch to your other side. And come down. Beautiful. Now we're going to come back into child's pose. So you're going to tuck into a little ball. Grab your ankle and pull it towards you. And then now you're going to pull that back into the ceiling. So you can get your forehead on the floor. Pull it into the ceiling. And you might even feel a crack in your back. And coming up. Perfect. Let's move on to our legs now. So, we're going to come into our lunges. So, with our lunges, I want you to make sure that when you're in your lunge, that your ankle is stacked underneath your knee. And from there, your back kneecap is entirely on the floor. Make sure that your back leg is straight and your front leg is straight looking forward. So a lot of the times what happens is that your back kneecap comes off of the floor. So then that becomes kind of like an open lunge. So to keep your hips square, keeping your back kneecap on the floor, pushing into the floor with your pelvis down. So again, if you're advanced, you can actually grab a block underneath your knee, your back knee. And you should feel that extra stretch in your, um, your quads and your hips. From there, you're gonna pull to interlock your fingers, and then from there, place those hands on your shin. From there, you're gonna pull it towards you and pull it up into the ceiling, and you should feel that extra stretch in your hamstrings, your groin, your hips, your quads at the same time. From there, you're going to face that front toe out. Now let's start opening up our front hip. So you're going to push that left knee with your left hand into the floor. So push it down. And then from there, you're going to lean away from that knee. And then you're going to start arching your back. Keep pushing that pelvis into the floor and pushing the knee at the same time. And you should feel a massive stretch in that lunge. Perfect. And coming out. From there, you're going to grab that right foot with your left hand and now you're going to pull that ankle towards your bum and this is a very intense stretch, I understand. <laughs> and then from there, you're going to keep pushing the pelvis into the floor at the same time and you're going to slightly arch. Make sure that you don't lose that engagement in your pull in towards your bum. So what happens is that once you push that pelvis into the floor, you lose that engagement there. So make sure you keep pulling that ankle towards your bum at the same time as you push your pelvis into the floor. And you can release that back leg. You're going to straighten your front leg. Both hands onto the floor. Now, when you're in this position, make sure that you're flexing your front toe. Keep pushing that ankle into the floor. So you drive the ankle into the floor. And rather than hunching your back, arch your back to feel that extra stretch. Make sure you're breathing. 
and coming out. Perfect. Let's move on to our other leg. You're going to come into your right front lunge again. Make sure that your back knee comes on the floor. And making sure that your front knee is stuck on top of that ankle. So if you feel like your hips aren't square yet in your lunge, if you're in your right front lunge, think about twisting your body out onto your right side and grab that outer part of your quad and pull it across. So you want to think about pulling that quad towards you and twist away. And you should feel that even stretch from your hamstrings, your groin, your quads, and your hips. And facing that front toe out again. From there, you're gonna push that right knee out with your right hand, push it into the floor, and you're gonna lean the head away from that knee and arch your back at the same time, and pushing the pelvis into the floor. Beautiful. Now you're going to grab the left toe with your right hand, pull that ankle towards your bum, push that pelvis into the floor and arch your back. This is a killer. This is the best stretch I find. It's good for your hips, your groin, your quads, like pretty much all parts of your legs and it targets every part of your legs at the same time so this is like the best one but it is very painful perfect dropping the back leg down and then you're going to straighten that front leg flexing that front toe and driving that ankle into the floor and you're going to arch your back please keep it arched and coming out so aside from the stretches that I showed you, I also incorporate um, much more like back bends, um, splits obviously, over splits, but that probably consists of like a complete different tutorial just because it is way more advanced. But this is what I would probably do if I only had 15 minutes to stretch. So I hope this stretching tutorial really helped you. Let me know if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment or you can even DM me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and happy stretching.